I'm in an interior perspective view and I want to show you how to turn this into a 3D uh, sketch style drawing that adds depth and is a quick way to get a feel for the space without going to the render uh, through the rendering session uh, for photorealistic so we're going to do just something as a simple sketch so the first thing we need to do is once you're in your perspective view go down to the uh, drawing uh, settings and set it to realistic. Realistic will show the materials as they will render. Uh, it's, this is a good way to check out uh, how things look. Um, I'm going to leave mine as the default but you could change the doors of the frames, the gypsum board, the flooring, the rail. You could change all those materials until you're happy with what they want what you want them to look like. Uh, but this one I just want to get a feel for the space. So that's the first step. Next uh, we're going to add some shadows. So I go down to the shadow icon and turn the shadows on. Okay, with the shadows on, I don't have see much of a change here, and that must be because the sun is at a, a different angle. I would like the sun to come in through the front windows. So I'm going to change that setting. So I go into the shadow uh, button, click on it, and go to graphic display options. Here's the sun settings. It says in session lighting, which is fine with me. I'm going to adjust that though so that it's not relative to the view, my azimuth and altitude, but the global positioning. And I'm going to say OK to that. Now you can see that the sun is coming through my two story glazed entry. And so uh, what I would like to do na next is adjust the uh, sun intensity. So I want to make it a little brighter. And then the uh, indirect lighting, uh, I would go to say 20 and cast shadows. I'm going to drop that down to 30. And see how that looks. So I've got more sun intensity, a um, uh, little bit of reflected light off of the surfaces, and I've reduced my shadow strength. Let's see how that reads. that looks good that's a decent rendering you can you get some feel for depth the last thing that uh, I'm going to mention or one of the last things I'm going to mention is uh, there's one further step that can help this look more like a sketch and uh, give it some more depth and that's back to the shadows button choose uh, the graphic display options and right here if you click ambient occlusion and say OK to that <coughs> you'll get some extra um, realism in the shadowing around uh, the edges of the where the wall meets the floor etc. Um, my video capture doesn't uh, do it justice so I'm not even going to show that on here but I want you to experiment with it and you will see uh, uh, very good results. Uh, the very last thing then that I want to mention here is it, once you're happy with that type of a view um, you can save it to your project just as you can save a rendering to your project. To do that here though we take our current view we right click and say save to save uh, uh, to project as image and we give it a name uh, and we adjust now on here I would recommend on here I would recommend that you set it to a hundred percent and the raster image quality to 300. I found that renders really well and uh, so whatever name you give it and say OK, it will show up under the renderings view. So I have one uh, already there called upper entry view. And so then that would be able to be dragged into a view uh, just as any other drawing on your page.